Pia is a flamingo. She lives with her family in the rainforest. But Pia is very different. Pia's dad loves to run. Pia isn't a fast runner. Pia's mom enjoys laying huge eggs. Pia does not like the look of that at all. Pia's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty food to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Pia sneeze. Achoo! Ow! But Pia had an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family were running, laying eggs, and pecking, Pia can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down into the ground. Pia the Flamingo! Pia the Flamingo! Pia the Flamingo! Until she popped up to somewhere new. Pia was on Mount Everest today. And she is wearing a winter jacket and a winter hat. I do say it's very, very cold out here today. Oh my. Yeah, it's very cold. Yup, you can say that again, said a voice. Who on earth said that, said Pia. Pia turned around to see a little man, which is very, very cold, and holding some ski poles. <laughs> Hello there, little man. I'm Pia. Who are you? Hello there, Pia. I'm Sir Joey. Hi, Sir Joey. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. It's very cold out here, right? I know. It looks like we could be lost in Mount Everest. But good thing I have my map, my compass. And if we're hungry... We will be having some lunch, which are some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, some orange juice, and for dessert, when we're done, we could have some biscuits. Biscuits? Mmm, yum. Yeah. <laughs> they, they all look good. Yeah. I can smell the peanut butter and jelly right now. Oh, really? Yes. But then, just before they could say anything else, they heard a stump. <sniffs> um, what was that? Um, um, I don't know. You tell me. Um, I don't know. Huh? Look behind you. Oh, no. It's a Yeti. It's a giant blue ye yeti. Oh, oh no. Ah. The yeti stumped until they got to Pia and Sir Joey. Me hungry for food. Meanwhile, Pia, the pink flamingo, and Sir Joey, the brave. Well, Sir Joey, not brave, because Sir Joey go in Yeti's mouth. Oh no, Pia, we gotta do something before he eats us for dinner. Oh no. Suddenly, the Yeti started taking... Sir Joey's compass, his map, and his lunch. Yum! Oh no, not my compass! And my map, and my packed lunch. Yum, yum! 
Abda. But it was too late. The Yeti started eating everything. Nom, 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 nom. Peanut butter. Ah. Oh no! What on earth are we going to do? Oh no! Now we're gonna be hungry. Oh, I never tried peanut butter in my entire life, and now I really want it. Hey, speaking of peanut butter, hey, Sir Joey, do you have any packed lunch yet? Well, of course I do. And in fact, I've packed my emergency cupcake. <laughs> wow! That is nice, but it looks like the Yeti wants it so bad. Me hungry. The Yeti's tummy started to rumble. Me want more food, said the Yeti. Peter had to think fast. A cupcake? A Yeti? I think I may have an idea. So Pia took the emergency cupcake and she fed it to the Yeti. Nom, 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 nom. Yummy, 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 lemon cupcake. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like he loves the cupcake. Right, Sir Joey? Oh, um, he sure did, Pia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Poles. Poles. Um, Sir Joey, I think the Yeti wants your ski poles, too. Well, I'm fine. But what are you gonna do with them? Yeah, see. Said the Yeti. So the Yeti used the ski poles as knitting needles. And he knitted a scarf made out of his own fur. Ta-da! <laughs> Sir Joey put it on the scarf and... He found it out that it was warm. Ah. Ah, it's so comfortable. Thank you, Yeti, for not eating anything else. You're welcome, said the Yeti. Anyways, let's continue our journey. Yeah, follow me. I think the Yeti wants us to follow him. Sir Joey. Yeah. Come on, let's go. So Pia and Sir Joey followed the Yeti to the top of Mount Everest. Come on, let's go. After a long walk up, they finally made it. Yay! At last, we've reached the top of Mount Everest! Yeah, I didn't even need my compass or my map. Yay! We did it! And it's all thanks to the Yeti for following us. Yep. Speaking of Yeti, how are we going to get back down? I only know one thing we should do. I'll be right back. We can all go skiing down. Pia was very, very happy that Sir Joey bought his ski poles. All right, that's a good idea, Sir Joey. Let's do it. Woo! So the Yeti, Pia... And Sir Joey 
skied down Mount Everest. And after that, they had a great, great tumble. Woo, yes. I must say, that was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, Pia, for saving the day. Anytime, Sir Joey. And by the way, the Yeti was so hungry, it started eating everything. But then I fed him the cupcake, and then he used your skiing poles to make you a scarf out of his fur. Oh, that's very sweet. And it looks like I had the best day ever at Mount Everest. Ah, you sure did, Pia. Ah, yeah. And they all laughed. And as they did, Pia realized it was time to go. Typical Pia daydreaming again, said her mom. Okay, actually, I climbed Mount Everest and then I met a Yeti. Your head has been in the ground for too long, my dear, said her dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Pia wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Great job, Mojang.